Hello everyone, I'm Jay and this is the Camden Stitch. Hi, thank you so much for joining me. If you've just come from my previous video, then welcome to the fabric haul. I am wearing the jumpsuit that I said that I made, which is the most 80s thing in the world. I shall post some full length pictures now so that you can see it in all its 80s glory. It is from a Prima pattern that I got from the Sue Rider shop that's just by my bus stop. And how excited I was to find some sewing patterns in a charity shop. You never find it in London and so rarely in Camden. I check my charity shops every flipping week and I ask the staff, got any sewing patterns in case they've got a box in the back? And they look at me like, what, what, what pat? So I was really excited. I've never used a Prima pattern before, but it was brilliant. It's really, really easy. So it's four pattern pieces, front left, front right, back left, back right, and, um, with a half elasticated waistband and it sewed it really quickly and easily. It's not the most flattering of shapes, I have to say. I think maybe if I'd put the elastic all round the waist instead of just the back as in, as the pattern suggested. Um, but I, I think I might make another one just for wearing in the house. I've got some royal blue with white polka dot linen look fabric from Fabricland. Uh, that got in, in the sale last year and I think that would make a really really cute one of these um, so oh and the fabric it's in a Liberty look um, cotton lawn that the lovely lovely Meg Pigeon Wishes gave to me when we first met she put it in a bag and she said oh I saw this and thought of you and it was such a, such a kind thought. Fabric is really the nicest present to get. Yeah, when somebody's seen a fabric and thought that it would be perfect for you, I think that's so kind and it's so pretty. And I chose these buttons because it picks out the little coral in the flowers. Um, and I love it, Meg, so thank you very much. And speaking of kind thought and thoughts and fabric gifts, um, if you've seen my other vlog, then you'll know that I've been out today on a little uh, sewing friends meetup and we went to Walthamstow fabric shopping and we did a little fabric swap and Laura who I know from Instagram not the specky seamstress Laura different Laura um, who is on Instagram sewn and shown made me up a little package of fabric and we were choosing fabric that we thought the other person would like so you had to kind of insta, insta stalk them and she gave me the most gorgeous fabric so I'm going to start off by showing you um, what she gave me. She gave me uh, a metre of this, I think it's a wool blend. It's lovely, it's soft. It's maybe a little bit itchy to wear next to your skin, you, you would have to line it, but I'm really hoping that there is enough for me to make a sew over it tulip skirt. And what I'm gonna do is, if there's enough, I'm gonna put braces on it. <laughs> I think that would be really cool. Um, so that was the first one that she gave me. And then she gave me this lovely um, viscose, which she says is from Fabric Godmother. And I think there is about half a meter there and there is enough for me to get maybe a little um, top like this. I can certainly make a cami top with half a meter of fabric, no problem. Next up, she gave me this lovely, I think it's a shirting. Um, and that's like a remnant, but I think there's probably enough for me to make a little vest top as well for sort of pyjamas for that, because it's quite nice, looks like quite stripy pyjama fabric, doesn't it? And last up, she gave me a massive piece, two metres, of this purple scuba, um, which I think will make a lovely, lovely sort of autumnal jumpsuit. Athena Cuckoo's Rachel jumpsuit that's like got like a very deep v-neck and two big pieces up here that look kind of like wide braces something like that would look great that would look great i think so thank you ever so much laura um it was really thoughtful of you i really appreciate it i'm going to show you the rest of my fabrics now um there is about i don't know 10 fabrics to show you it's not not a ludicrous amount not a ludicrous amount Okay, 
there's a lot more than 10. So a few days ago I went shopping to a place called Woolcrest in Hackney which is an enormous warehouse full of fabric and they do sell a lot wholesale to the trade but they are open to the public as well and um, Ian sat outside with a book while I wandered in and had a look round and there was kind of too much really because I don't know you could have bought a lot of different fabrics but I restrained myself because I knew I was going to Walthamstow as well um, but I did get a couple which I shall just show you so the first one I got is this cotton and you know pink and red my favorites and I just love it <laughs> some our friend said oh that reminds me of 1970s wallpaper which is kind of my vibe isn't it um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna make with that yet I think I might make a um, you know the plain bodice that I just finished a bodice like that with a double tiered skirt to make it kind of midi length but I'm not 100% sure about that yet um, but it's a cotton with a tiny amount of stretching like a cotton blend but it's definitely dress weight it is lovely and then I bought this which might seem a bit balmy but I'd seen it at Rainbow Fabrics a while ago they've got it in yellow um, and I was really tempted and it's called washable wool where Rainbow was selling it as fleece so I don't know what it is it's some kind of mysterious mixed mixed fibers I don't know if there's any wool in it um, but it was five pounds a meter oh this one was two pounds a meter I think um, sorry Betsy's just scratching the furniture it is this rather enormous enormous hound's tooth um, I want to make a full length coat and it's the simplicity pattern and I shall post a picture of it here. Love that. But yeah, it seems ludicrous to be thinking about winter coats at the moment. And then I also went to it on my way back from Woolcrest. I went to a little market stall that's local to me and he's got some really, really lovely stuff. Um, I got this Ponty, which it's just a lovely weight and it's got a kind of, I don't think you can really see on the vlog, but it's got a kind of slightly um, brushed type, uh, washed look to it. Um, so it's got that kind of slightly casual, like um, sweatshirty type look to it, although it's definitely a ponty knit. I think that was two pounds a meter and it's really, really lovely. I don't know what I'm gonna make with that, but you know, what's not to love. And I got this red and white print right the sun's just coming in and affecting the light so sorry about that um it's red and white not red and pink as it appears and it is something like a cotton viscose or even a cotton linen um but it's lovely and i am gonna make a fiber mood mirror or something similar i'm gonna make a summer dress that's got frills on it because i've seen some on pinterest and if I can find the pictures, I shall set them in here. Um, and yeah, I just really, really like them. I've got some like this, but in a bigger check. And I might even see if, if they're similar enough, I might try and mix them up in the same pattern. So that was early on in the week. And then um, now we're onto the Walthamstow fabrics. I went to the pound a meter shop and I got this pinstripe denim it's got a good amount of stretch in it. No, it's got zero stretch in it. What am I what am I saying? I was sure that it got stretch in it. Yeah, no, it's only got by a stretch in it. Um, I think I'm gonna use this to make a new look 6446 jumpsuit that I made a couple of last year and wore the hell out of. Um, it's a really good kind of transitional pattern. Um, it's got good coverage, slightly more coverage than dungarees, but you can either wear it without a top underneath if it's the summertime, or you could easily wear a jumper underneath. And you know, I've got that pattern to fit me well, and so it's worth using it to make a few more, um, to make it up a few more times, definitely. So that was a pound a meter, and I got three meters of that. The next shop I want, went to is called the 50p a meter shop, and that's because it stocks fabrics from 50 meters. 50p a metre, um, mainly they're two and three pounds. They do sell one or two rolls that they've got that are kind of special fabrics that are four or five pounds, but they're 
a tiny proportion of what they've got. So I've got a couple of fabrics from there that was that were two pound a meter. This is another cotton linen mix. It's either pure cotton or cotton linen mix, and it is a coral pink gingham you know i adore gingham i just absolutely love it every time i see a gingham dress i just think it looks so fresh and pretty um i had already bought some pink gingham to make a this shirt dress the only problem with it was that it's a poly cotton and it's quite thin so i was probably gonna have to line it but i think now i might use this instead which although it's not as as large a check which i do like um i won't have to line it and it's a really just a nice quality and it'd be perfect for a shirt dress so that's that one i got this viscose which was two pounds a meter and it is royal blue and i plan to mix it with a viscose leaf print that I've got that is royal blue and white to make a dress for university which means I've got to make that up tomorrow. It's my last day of college on Monday and I would really like to make this pattern up because it's what I've been working on for the whole five week module um, and it would be great to kind of see off the see off my class wearing something that I've made but it depends on whether or not I will have time to make it tomorrow. Um, from one of the shops on the market that I cannot remember the name of, um, I got this stretch crepe. It's got a good amount of stretch and it's a nice weight, very soft so no need to line it and it's a border print and it's got these wavy lines and then floral and then this kind of Formula One zigzag type thing. Um, that was £2 a metre and I got three metres. Um, I don't need three meters to make a dress, but because it's a border print, I thought I might need the extra. From one of the stalls that I call Mr. Bradford Man, I'm sure he's not watching this, but if he is, hello fellow Yorkshire man. Um, I got, oh, Mr. Bradford Man is at the top of the high street, by the way. He's the first fabric stall that you come to. Um, I got this gorgeous, 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 I think it's a crepe. It's polyester, but it's nice. It's heavy enough that you won't need to line it. Um, again, it's a lovely coral colour. I don't know what I'm going to make out of it. Not a maxi dress. I'm fed up of maxi dresses. If you want to know why, watch my previous video. And finally, I went to the shop that is across from the 50p a meter shop that's called the new fabric store the name of the 50p a meter shop is the the fabric shop the one across the road is called the new fabric store and it's green if you ever want to know which way you're going or where i'm referring to and i got these viscoses and i had to fight laura specky seamstress over this and I'm sorry, Laura, I won. I won the fight and I felt awful because she loves turquoise and I rarely wear it. But um, Claire, who was in our group, had bought some of this and I just thought the colour was nice. Um, I'm not a fan of kind of deeper, like teal colour, but this was, this was quite bright and I just really liked it. So um, I don't know what I'm going to make out of that. I might make that fibre mood dress that I haven't shown to you yet, but I will show to you. Uh, and last up, some yellow viscose, and they were both £1.50 a metre, and it would be okay for a dress, I think you'd need to line it, or it would be brilliant as lining, um, but I was really keen on buying some planes as well as buying some prints, because I find that, um, I don't know, often in my stash I've got a lot of prints because they kind of draw you in don't they um so that is my fabric haul I hope you've enjoyed watching it um do you have any suggestions or ideas for the things that I'm going to make we all know that I will finish up making something completely different than what I've said um anyway I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I shall see you very very soon if you haven't already um subscribed then please press the button and ding ding the bell and you'll get notifications every time I release a video. I do try and release them on 
Wednesdays and Saturdays but I didn't manage to put out my Saturday one this week just because I've been too busy sewing because to be honest if I don't spend time sewing then I've got nothing to talk to you about have I? Enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a brilliant week and I'll see you next week. Bye lovely sewing sisters, bye! Betsy, why don't you come up and say hello? Zero recognition. <laughs>